You can make very quick and accurate 90 degree cuts on dimensional lumber with a simple speed square and your circular saw. But what if you want to make that same very accurate 90 degree cut on a wider piece of material like a 1x12 in my case right here? Well, you're limited by the length of your speed square. In this case, about 7 inches. So after you pass the length of that speed square, you may or may not be able to keep this thing straight. So let's make a very quick and easy uh, shop made zero clearance T-square for your circular saw. Now you really just need three pieces of scrap plywood in order for this to work. Uh, I've got some that are pretty much the size that I need and the main thing you need is a piece of plywood that is wider than from your blade to the side of the base of your circular saw. And as you can see here, this is wider, so that's really all that matters. I'm going to be cutting the zero clearance kerf in the base piece, so I need a straight side to reference off of. Both of these feel like they were ran through my table saw. This side is as straight as my eye can tell, so I'm going to use it for my fence. And for the fence, I'm going to use the smaller of the two pieces of plywood scrap that I have here. I'm just going to stand this on end and glue it and screw it into place. Now I can flip it over. And referencing off of the new fence that I just put on, I can use my speed square to locate the T-square style fence at the bottom. And once I get it where I want it, I can just clamp this speed square on. And then again, glue and screw this into place. So that's pretty much it. Real quick, before I cut the kerf mark and remove the excess material, make sure that you didn't put a screw right here where the blade's gonna be. On my saw, it's four inches from the fence to where the blade is, and I made sure not to put a screw down here as well. So this is a very simple and easy jig that you can make. It's very handy to have in your shop as well. Uh, it's not my design by any means. I've seen a lot of other people do the exact same thing. I just happen to have the need for to make one, so I figured I'd record and show you guys, if you're not familiar with one of these, uh, how easy it is to make. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and you have a great day.